So at this moment, we'll go ahead and get started. And we want to introduce our very first finalist uh, who are going to be presenting today. And this is the order of presentations. So first up, we have Power Gen Pitcher, and uh, we have Dr. Naomi Fang and Dr. Isaac uh, Chipoli. And so at this time, we'll go ahead and let you uh, present your big idea. And at this time, you can go ahead and share your screen and uh, share your slides. Okay, can we start? Yes. Hello, everybody. I'm Naomi. And I'm Isaac. Our product is the PowerGen Pitcher. Naomi is from School of Medicine. I'm from UTR GV Mechanical Engineering. And our score mentor is Dr. Moore. Did you know you can charge your phone or power LED lights from the energy in a pitcher of boiling water? The PowerGen Pitcher makes electricity with no moving parts and generates on-demand power anytime, anywhere. Just add water, fire up the stove, and in a matter of seconds, you're making power. The power gen pitcher is a compact charger that doubles as a cooking pot. The brains of this device is the power generator module with unique microchannel flow technology developed at the aerodynamics and propulsion lab of UTR GV Mechanical Engineering. It puts out 20 watts, 1.1 amps, and will charge devices about the same time as a regular charger. So what's the need for this device? Electricity is a basic necessity. Charging phones and other devices has become part and parcel of our lives. The power gen pitcher provides on-demand power anytime, anywhere. For example, during winter storms, such as the one we all went through last month, during hurricanes, in areas with no or limited access to power, during camping, etc., and in general, during power outages. Let me mention the value proposition. The customer should have the ability to charge phones, power LED lights, et cetera, and also be able to cook during power outages. The power gen pitcher fits this need perfectly. It is low cost, high efficiency, versatile, durable, and easy to manufacture. So what's the market outlook? The customers are those affected by power outages, nearly 36 million in the US annually. For example, customers who went without power in our community during last month's winter storm, during Hurricane Hannah last year, the 40 million who partake in camping activities every year, the 940 million in parts of the world who have no or limited access to power. These are our customers. Our competition is primarily BioLite and PowerPot. They both are nearly twice as expensive and low efficiency when compared to our product. Their power output decreases the longer you cook. Our product uses unique microchannel flow technology to stabilize power output. To get started, we asked for $20,000, out of which $18,000 will be used for manufacturing the initial units. The remaining $2,000 will be spent for marketing at trade shows, retail stores, and social media. The prize money from this competition will be used for initial manufacturing and optimizing the thermoelectric generator modules. Thank you for your time. This is our initial prototype since the tech module, and we'll be happy to take any questions. Okay, great. Thank you. For now, we're going to go ahead and get started with a five minute uh, question and answer. So judges, audience, if you have any questions, comments, feedback for Jen Pitcher, uh, please feel free to do so right now. Thank you. I have a question. Yes. Is the, is it necessary to have the pot? In other words, is the is there an element that can be used under any pot or is the element built into the pot okay so uh, that's a very good question so this is our initial prototype that we uh, manufactured uh, uh, in in one of the manufacturing plants in india so this we manufactured for a dollar and a half so the power generator module goes on the bottom of this so any um, so uh, so the power generator module is glued onto the bottom using a conducting glue. So uh, 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 so the module goes on separately under the bottom of the pot. And it would have to be that that way. That is, you can't your product cannot be just the element 
by itself. Uh, but we have to use a special conducting glue. We, it can also be uh, just an element uh, by itself, uh, uh, but we, we do provide a, a custom conducting glue that goes with the, uh, uh, with the device. But, but it can be also a, uh, just the uh, element by itself. Thank you. Well, a question along that same line. So it sounds like it's not so much the boiling water that uh, generates the electricity, it's the heat itself, correct? Uh, yes. So uh, in our, uh, in, in the power generator module that we designed with the custom uh, microchannel flow technology, uh, so it, it's, uh, it's a basically a thermoelectric generator which makes use of the temperature difference and uh, that module is glued onto it. And uh, the unique thing about our power generator module is that uh, the efficiency is almost double the, uh, as compared to our competitors and the cost is almost half uh, when compared to our competitors. When was this device uh, created or manufactured? Sorry, can you repeat the question? When was this device manufactured or created? Uh, this was manufactured last year before the pandemic. So we, we had the idea before uh, the pandemic started. So in one of the manufacturing plants in India, this was uh, manufactured using uh, the, uh, uh, the stamping technique. And, uh, and, uh, uh, and after the pandemic started, uh, uh, we were not able to follow through with it. So, but now the pandemic is subsiding. Uh, we are planning to uh, go ahead uh, with, uh, with our idea. So did I understand correctly that it doesn't have to be water in the pot, it can be other, it, just, it doesn't have to be boiling water, is that correct? That's exactly right. Our competitors, they require water to be in their pot. But uh, with our uh, unique technology, you can cook anything that does not, it does not necessarily have to have water. You can, uh, you can put in water or you, do, you don't have to, you can cook both solids and, uh, uh, and liquids. What do you believe will be the selling price for this product? Uh, so for the manufacturing cost, uh, we, can, we estimated this to be between 12 and $15. The selling cost we are estimating to be between uh, 50, uh, 55 and $60. How are you able to get more efficiency than the other than your competitors? You said you get 55% and they get 25% efficiency? Uh, sorry, can you repeat your question? How are you able to get such high efficiency? Uh, because uh, the efficiency basically comes from the thermoelectric generator module. So uh, when the temperature difference between uh, the bottom and top surface, is, surface begins to decrease, uh, the efficiency goes down. And that is what happens in our competitors' uh, uh, devices. But what we have designed is a unique microchannel uh, flow cooling technology that removes uh, some of the temperature from the top surface and uh, that uh, that increases the efficiency nearly by uh, two times. Of course, it does not affect, uh, uh, it, it, it only affects very little uh, the, the cooking temperature. It may take a couple of minutes longer, but the efficiency is nearly doubled as compared to our uh, competitors. We, we, uh, we stabilize the temperature differential using our uh, unique microchannel uh, technology that we developed in our laboratory. 